All right, here's what I think about that. Here's what I think about that. Here's what I fucking think about that. Yeah. Look out! Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I think about it. Ah! Realistically, this would have crashed through and probably broken a bunch of your store, but no, this game won't let me do that. This game won't let me be realistic. God damn maniac! Even though it's praise for being realistic, but you can't actually run over people half the time, most of the time. But whatevs, whatevs. This is Dr. Stoneman, here we go. Let's go. Nice move, not telling old Sweet Lips in there about her friend taking the big jump till we were half out the door. Very slick. I figured we'd get more out of her that way. You're learning, Phelps. We'll make a vice cop out of you yet. Wait, so you were judging me about that, but then you're like, yeah, that was a good move. Ah, oh, okay, I see. It was, it was kind of like, I, I get it. You're, yeah. You're appealing to my counter-opposition of the... Whatever you get, I mean. It's in Los Angeles, California. Oh, wow, this looks nice. Whenever a doctor's office is stationed in a building like this, you know, there's trouble. Uh, alright. Let's take a look at this shit. Wait a minute, what? What? Where... Where are we going? Oh, are we going through here? Okay. Wow. <laughs> Even worse. Alright. Cool. Let's see. Hmm. At least the elevators look futuristic y. Kind of reminds me of Bioshock. Infinite. I swear, if we locked up every doctor in this town, Vice would be able to work half days. Wow. I'm sure that will do well for the healthcare system there, Roy. Let's see. Yes, sir, your name? Wow. LA Just right away. <laughs> We'd like to see Dr. Stoneman. Dr. Stoneman is with the patient. Would you like to wait? No. <laughs> we wouldn't. <laughs> Tell him we want to see him now. Get on it, bitch. Hey, you're the one who's you're the one who was asking my name right away. That's rude. From the LAPD here to see you. Um, send them in, please. I'll uh, I'll see this patient again after they've left. <gasps> we just ruined someone's appointment. Sorry, dude, we just ruined your appointment. Your investigation is much more important than my sciatica. I'm just in pain here. Leave me alone. Hey, you don't need to be a bitch about it. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> you went around just. <laughs> Why did you do that? It was pointless. Wall, hurts to sit down, and now I got police and riding me like I'm a criminal. Get lost. It's, 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 hey, this has nothing to do with you, dickface. You want to make it about you, huh? I can make it about you. Oh. Whoa. This is getting really personal now. I see how it is. I really do. It's just part of the job. Wow. I didn't know we could be so open about this. No one seems to mind. Damn. All right, cool. Well, how about we just, how about you lower your head just a little bit? I don't think we quite got the right angling there. We need it just a little bit more. Nope, uh, not quite there. Hold on. Mm, oh, I'll try to position myself here. Oh, God. Okay, you're, you're clearly not understanding this. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll move on. Maybe your thing, maybe your thing is above the waist, but that's not my thing. Sorry. Dr. Stoneman, we are investigating the death of one of your patients, Julia Randall. I'm very sorry to hear that. That we're investigating we it? Ask you some questions about Ms. Randall? Yeah, I know, it's uh, a pain in the ass. Not if it doesn't compromise doctor patient privilege, Detective. Oh, you seem kind of nervous. You seem very nervous, actually. What's going on here? Gray hair. How well did you know Ms. Randall? Fairly at all. Um, she'd only been a patient Baldy. six months or so. Oh. You seem a little bit reserved about that. Is Julia that Randall has been your patient for nearly a year. I'm sure you know that. Do you doubt my veracity, detective? Do you have access to my patient records? Uh... We have... 
I mean, we have uh, we have the pills here. Does that mean anything? I don't. Uh, hold on. She only been patient six months or so. Has been patient nearly a year. I don't know how we know the nearly a year part, but uh, six months is still a pretty long time. I mean, I don't. Depending on what's going on, and clearly she has sleeping pills. Does that count? I. Sorry, sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. This one is actually kind of confusing me a little bit. I don't know if it's doubt or lie. Very little. Um, she'd only been a patient six months or so. I think it would be lie because we have evidence here. Why the hell would they ignore the evidence? Cole's kind of jumping on this stupid. A year. I'm sure you know that. On the stupid assumption of nearly a year, detective? but I don't see why that matters. This seems very patient. irrelevant. Uh, I know I don't, but I know that she was taking sleeping pills. Please work. I would Apparently not. To be so presumptuous in a case such as this. It's not presumptuous. We have freaking sleeping pills here, prescribed by you, idiot. Oh no, wait, we have the. Oh. My God. I don't think the Benzedrine would make a difference. I, I thought maybe it said Dr. Stillman's name on it. And, and it did, but it didn't mention it here on the notes, so... Did didn't did, wouldn't it have said his name on the sleeping box, the sleeping pill box too? I don't know. Detective, tell me, do you often lose focus like this? Are you trying to psychoanalyze me now? You're not a psychiatrist. You're just a doctor. Shut up, idiot. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Okay. We believe yeah, Miss okay. Randall died of an overdose of morphine. You didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? That is a very serious allegation to level at a doctor, young man. Is it now? Well, you know, it may be serious. Doesn't mean it's not true. That's right. I got you there. Morphine overdose. Uh, we have no evidence that he prescribed morphine, but Cole just said something else. Well, we have sleeping pills here, but why would he keep that a secret? I don't understand. Hold on. Uh, so this is kind of confusing me again, because like he he didn't say he didn't say morphine. He said you didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? So he literally said anything else. So like, if we want to think about it that way, then sleeping pills would be would go fall under anything else, and I don't know if that's what they want me to say. You didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? Sleeping pills. Um. God Sorry. damn it. This I remember this guy being a fucking pain in the ass for me, and I... Of course it's happening again. Fucking cunts. Remove an answer. Remove an answer. Uh, I'm gonna try again. You wrote Julia Randall a prescription for Benzedrine. How can you account for that? Miss Randall was in the uh, fashion business. She wanted to control her weight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. You seem a little bit shifty about it, but, you know. I don't... <sighs> we believe Miss Randall died of an overdose of morphine. You didn't prescribe her anything else, did you? That is a very serious allegation to level at a doctor. Well, she was also prescribed sleeping pills, which is not the same thing, I but you know, whatever. <laughs> uh or is it? Well, it was pretty close, right? Or no. I don't know. Barbiturates. I don't like I made a mistake. 
Let me try removing an answer. Oh, okay, so it is doubt. Benzedrine is addictive, as I'm sure you know, doctor. As I warned her, but she was determined. She said she needed it to control her appetite. Sounds like you knew her pretty well. <laughs> I knew the line of work she was involved in. Of course. We all for now, Dr. Stoneman. Of course, we that's your that. rhetoric. Eh, semantics games. Shut the fuck up, doctor. Oh, yeah, we talked to him again later. I think that's even a pain in the ass. Let's see. Use his phone for whatever reason. Operator, give me dispatch. What's he doing? Is he gonna get a knife out and try to kill me? I'm watching you, Stone Man. Okay, I'm not anymore. Yeah, you have opportunity now. Do it! Oh, shit, no! Oh, you missed your opportunity, Dan. God. Wow, he leaves his office to me for me. I could do anything now. I could just, I could tamper evidence here. Sure thing, Mal. We'll be right over. Alright, sweet. Let's look at this letter now. Now he left the room like an idiot. Oh, okay, no, I guess not. Let me jump out the window. Damn it. What's in this room? Oh, wow, we can look at stuff. Alright, let's look at this. No good to me. Uh, what else? Doesn't tell me anything. Doesn't, eh? Oh, shit, hey. You got something for me? I saw you holding something. What are you doing? Hey. Can I ask you politely to go now? I have patients who need my help. You didn't actually say that with your mouse moving at all. You fucking witch! Oh my god, get out of here. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, this whole town is possessed. You. Hurts to walk, hurts to oh, sit down, you're just... And now I got police you're repeating like yourself. Oh my god, this place get is infested. Lost. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, I am getting lost. Get away from you fucking crazies. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Partner, this whole town's invested with witches, and I'm, I don't like it. I really don't. <sighs> God damn it. Alright. The old boy's lying. About what? I don't know. He looked relieved when you said she was dead. Really? He just looked guilty. He looked guilty, more like. You know, nervous. Whatever, though. Maybe partly that, too. Relieved. Let's go to the stupid hospital. Alright. Have you noticed how croakers only pull out the physician-patient privilege card when they got some to hide? There are certain things people have a right to keep private. Until it gets in That's the true. way of police work. Oh. And it's only private when it suits them. A couple of drinks and every doctor I've met will spill your darkest secrets in a heartbeat. Roy, the ultimate dirty cop. Out there to be an asshole to everyone. As long as it shoots his bullshit paycheck. Alright, let's take a see what this shithead wants from us. Another old bald fuck. At least we like him. Oh, I didn't read that, damn it. Oh well. Wait. Why do I hear, like, nighttime? Did you hear that? It was like. It sounded like night. It sounded like crickets at night. <laughs> hey. Hey, let's talk. Detectives Phelps and Earl here to see the coroner. Yes, detective. He's waiting for you in the examination room. I can probably just go to the examination room, but I guess Rock should put that in there in case we were dumb and didn't know where to go. Oh well. Coroner, hey. It's not the examination room, but it's his office, so let's go check this out. Okay, let's read his files. Advice? No, I don't want your advice. Get out of here. Well get this over with. Let's go in here, Mouse. I can see you're committed. Tale. Fairy tale. I have some information for you. Yeah, I know. You're the only person enjoying this, Mal. Get on with it. The bruising <laughs> hey, I'm enjoying it, idiot. Hands, so we have two so cool. Death was caused by heart failure due to an overdose of morphine. Have you dragged us down here to gloat? We already heard your theory. We agree that she was murdered. Yes, of course. I have something else to show you. All right, Mal, what gives? The 
dead guy's name is Jimmy LeBlanc, career burglar. He came Ooh. in this morning. Someone stove his head in with a lump of two by four. So what? Good riddance. I found two <laughs> serrets wow. in his jacket pocket. Wow. Hang on a minute, Roy. We're listening now. No sign of morphine use and no metabolized morphine in his blood. Scratch marks on his face. Which could be from getting his head remodeled. Time of death now. Maybe an hour or two after the Randall girl. So you're saying Laughing Boy here could be one of our killers? That's a hell of a long shot. Thanks, Mal. We'll check it out. I found something Well, else. you know, sometimes long shots pay off. Rusty 2.0. That's right. I'm calling you that now. Bitch. You're just as stupid as him. But, but double. That's right. Alright, let's take a little shit. Sorry, I don't play. I don't know if it's significant. His wallet was empty. The only other things he was carrying were the harmonica and the morphine. Hmm. For others. Yeah, he's here. I'll send him over. I go where I want, bitch. We have a guy called Henry Arnett in interview two for you next door. Let me know how you get on. Sure, Mal. And thanks for the lead. Sure, Mal. Thanks for the lead. <laughs> Mal does not like that guy. Don't worry, Mal. I understand your feelings. He's kind of an idiot. That's okay. I'm better than him. He even He's so stupid, he even lets me drive his own car from the very beginning. He doesn't even know how to drive it. <laughs> Idiot. Arnett is an interview too, Phelps. Go help I know. Off his chest. I know. God, shut up. Where's interview two? I said it was over here. Oh, there it is. Hi. Mr. Arnett, I'm Detective Phelps. This is Detective Earl. Thanks for coming in. Call me Henry. It's the least I could do. Terrible news about Julie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you seem very concerned. Fiance of Heather Swanson and friend of Julia Randall. That's right, I know who you are. I know who you are, Mr. Henry Arnett. I know everything about you. You've got brown eyes, brown hair. You're, you're male. You're 27 years old. And your name is Henry Arnett. That's all I need to know. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally modeled for me. Anyone seen where Miss Wells went? Okay, you seem very concerned, though, for someone you barely knew. I'm gonna try that again. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing down. business, and Julia occasionally modeled. Why are you looking around when you said that, huh? Come clean with us, Arnett. Was Miss Randall your mistress? Is that how she could afford such a lavish lifestyle? That's a ridiculous allegation. How could you possibly prove that I paid for Julia's things? Uh... Well, there was a guy named Mr. Henderson, and your name is Henry. It's pretty close. I don't know. I'm seeing a link here. Also... He was wearing a similar jacket to yours, Mr. Henry. You smug son of a bitch. Look at that. Uh, but, but, um... If that's all, Heather's distraught. I probably need to get home. Yeah, shut up, bitch. I'll keep you here as long as I want. Um... Hold on, did this guy say where you lived? Um. Hmm. If you don't ask, you never find out. <laughs> wow, he seems very smug, though. How well did you know Julia Randall? Vaguely. I'm in the clothing business, and Julia occasionally models. I don't know why he doesn't he doesn't seem so off putting afterwards after saying it, but he does seem kind of fidgety. I don't know if it's just general character movement, but he does seem kind of fidgety. But he's looking at me pretty straight. 
Wait, well, I was also kind of looking away when he said his stuff. Let's just try this, this first. Randall's landlady said she was seeing an older man. Could have been. I wasn't privy to all the details of Julia's private life. Okay, okay you're definitely suspicious about that one. Henry, Green. I don't like when people lie to me. She was seeing a man named Henderson. You know who I'm talking about. Easy on, detective. I may have heard of Henderson, but I don't know his full name. I think he's from New York or someplace back east. Oh, that's bullshit. We know he's from San Francisco. Motherfucker. Yeah. Let's see. He's from San Francisco. And he was banging Julia, and you know it. You know it. That's right, you know it. Oh, you, you know it. It makes you scare, scares you. It makes you nervous. If that's all, that. Heather's distraught. I probably need to get home. Um, no, hold on. I'm gonna go with doubt for that one. Personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand that? Oh, Speak really? Henry, you know nothing about a man named Henderson? Uh, yes, you're, you're right. Henderson, yeah. Very distinguished. Wow. How about a first name, wise guy? An address, maybe? I'm sorry, I don't. I think he lives somewhere out of town. Somewhere back east. Oh, wait. Oh, is it the testifying thing? Housekeeper's statement. Ah, damn it. When I figure things out right afterwards, I... Oh, my God, I should... <sighs> I think you know what's coming. No. No, this... If that's all, Heather's distraught. This bitch doesn't get away with that. I'm gonna be right back. Fuck this guy.